Oh, whoa! We're back! I got another one for you. I'm not excited about this one. I can't really get excited about this one because these boats, this style boat doesn't do much for me, okay guys? I, I just, I don't get over excited about this style boat. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's because, I don't know, I'm under a lot of stress here, but I'm just, I'm not excited about this one. Maybe you guys are. I know we've had some requests for it, some pretty consistent requests for it, so obviously you guys want to hear about it. It's a tin boat. Um, it is a low, low, low E. No, the low people call them lows, but there's so many, but it's a low Stinger 198. The Low Stinger 198. So it's a 19 foot eight boat. Um, it's made by Low. I think it's their bass boat style, aluminum tin can thing with carpet in it. So um, it, uh, it, it's got a starting price at 33,300. And 68 bucks, 33,368. That's pretty good. And that's coming with a 150. That's coming with a 150 for 33,368 bucks. Standard features. Um, it comes with a Motor Guide X3 FW 4570. So it comes with a 70 pound thrust. Big ass, getting ready to go. Not upstream in heavy current trolling motor. And it comes with a. Comes with a Lowrance Hook 3X. Does everybody know what that looks like? I got my phone on me? I don't have my phone on me. I think my cell phone is actually bigger than the Lowrance Hook 3X. I mean, for guys like Neil that are going blind, he ain't gonna be able to see the Lowrance. Why do you even put the f***ing Lowrance Hook 3X on this thing? Why do you even, no, don't do that. Don't start it with that, don't even, no, don't even make it an option. Take the Lowrance Hook 3X, throw it away. Nothing smaller than sevens on these boats, people. Nothing smaller than sevens because there's no reason to do anything but sevens. All right, so you know what we're gonna do with the 45 motor guide, garbage. You know what we're gonna do with the Lowrance hook, garbage. We're gonna get rid of all that stuff. So we're gonna go with our 112 up front. We're gonna go with our 331s in the back, our 27 cranker. Um, and we're gonna go with the Minkota 460 charge system. That's what we're doing. At the bow, we're putting a Helix 10 in there. We can do it, we'll find a way, we're putting a Helix 10 in. At the council, we're gonna put a Helix 10 there too. They only get us one, one per front, one per back. We can't duel, they won't let us. It's just one of them things, they just won't let us do it. So, hanging off the back, of course we're gonna put our jack plate and we're gonna put our, wait, nope. Nope, can't do it. No jack plate, no poles. Not allowed. Low, Lowey, Louie, Lefty, none of them. They just won't let you do it. They're not gonna let us put the jack plate on there. There are no power poles. That's just how it is. Cut. Oh, he's stopping out there. So we don't got Neil. So we're still going. So no jack, no jack plate, no poles. They won't let us. But we got an auto bilge, which was bad because when it starts to leak, it pumps the water out. Um, we got the Deluxe Fishing Pedicles. What's the Deluxe about them? Do they say what, it's like cool, or are they just Deluxe? Jordan, you got nothing? They're just Deluxe? They're just Deluxe. We got the Deluxe Pedestal. We got the LED lights, which is cool. Recessed trolling matter paddle. Um, hydraulic steering with the tilt. Uh, and <laughs> we got a Jensen two-channel stereo with Amp and speaker. <laughs> With amp and speakers. Chad's over there not too happy about the Jensen machine that we're yeah. talking about. No? Yeah. Chad's not into the Jensen. But hey, it comes with it. It's an option. You might as well put it in there, right? Maybe it comes with this option we're doing. The trailer options, this is where it gets really cool. There's a lot of value here in this trailer, just so you know. Tandem axle trailer, big time for me. I like tandem axle trailers. Tandem axle disc brakes, so we're running tandem axle disc. Four, stopping on a dime. Uh, ratchet tie downs should come with that. Swing away tongue, by now they all should come with it. LED lights, if it doesn't have LEDs nowadays, I don't know what it is. But you get pretty good trailer options with this. You can put one unit up front, you can put one unit at the console. We converted it to what we like. Um, of course we can't, I, I don't understand why I can't put, 
I don't get the jack plate. Why can't we put jack plates on them? Why can't we put poles on these? Somebody, I mean, I get it. You're probably warranty things. Your transom's gonna fall apart. It's not built for it. Maybe the boat doesn't perform with it, but there's no real answers out there on why they won't let us do this stuff. I think the Lund was the same way. I think the Ranger was the same way. Crest or the Crest, did the Crestliner let us do it? I think the Crestliner let us put it on there. And that that boat falls apart like freaking popcorn machine. But the this, this, the Lau doesn't let us do it either. And it, it I don't have an answer. I want an answer. I want to know why we can't do that stuff. If the performance goes away, okay, great. But if you if it's because you're not building your transoms for that stuff, mm, might be a problem. But so we couldn't do any of that. Um, so we started at 33,368 with the 150. There's a 115 option too. I don't know why the hell. It's just 19 foot eight. I can't put a 200 on it once again. I can't, I can't put a 200. Why do you do this to me, Jordan? It's just irritating. I get mad. I don't like this. I can't put a 200 on it. I gotta put a 150 on it. I can't put poles on it. Can't put a jack plate on it. It's bolted right to the transom. It comes with a hook three that Neil can't even see. It's just not good. There's nothing good coming out of it. Uh, for me, it's not the bolt, but we're gonna get you a final price right now. Are you ready? Here we go. At an amazing final price of 45,994 bucks, you can get it the way we rig it. 112, Helix 10, Helix 10. No jack plate, no power poles, none of that stuff. But you get the good trailer, you get the deluxe fishing seats, um, and you get the bad Jensen radio. <laughs> With the amp and speakers. So, you're getting a lot of good there um, for 40, 46,000 bucks. So we went from 33,3 to $46,000. That's what we did. It was, uh, it was, um, it was fun. It was fun to watch the Lawrence hook. What are you doing? I can read the hook three uh, with this. It's, got it's even got a light on it. Wow. That's... This is what you need to have with you when you're running. You know? To see your hook three. Can you read this? Blurry right there. I can read it right there. <laughs> All right. So we got forty-six thousand bucks. We started at thirty-three-three. Three. Can't put a two hundred on it. One fifty bolted in. I believe now. Do I like the boat? No. For me, for me, it's never going to get a good rating. I don't like the boat. Don't like the style. I don't like what it is. For me, it's overpriced because it just. I can't do enough with it. I can't. But now, if you flip it and you want to be that entry level guy and you want to have that boat to go tournament fish out of and you want to be able to be competitive around things and kind of just start off with, I think it's an undervalued boat for that guy. I really do. I think it's for, because you're getting into it for under 40, you're going to get under 50,000 bucks. And we added the 112, we got the 36, we got the big battery. Um, we weren't able to do no 360 stuff. We didn't, we got one unit, two unit, no jack plate, no power poles, but entry level, that's probably a pretty good price, under 50K. And you're getting a tournament ready style boat that you can go fish tournaments with if that's how they're basing the Stinger 198 is off of that. Um, for me, the irritation part comes when I can't put a 200 on almost a 20 foot boat. I can't add a jack plate. I can't put poles on it. I mean, if I bought the boat, I'd put a jack plate on it. Uh, warranty's gone, who cares? Send it back there, they're not gonna weld it up right anyway. I gotta take it to a good fabricator. I'm gonna put poles on it one way, shape, or form. I mean, that's just what I would do. You're gonna add another five, 6,000 bucks to this, maybe 7,000 bucks to this. We're gonna be about 52, 53,000, and I'm at least gonna have my poles and jack plate. Still probably coming in at a good price, still undervalued. Um, but then I'm starting to be happy, but I'm still stuck with the 150 Pro XS. Put a 200 on there, I think it's a great boat then. And I mean, that's maybe six, $7,000 difference, probably in price, maybe a little bit more. You know, so we're then we're at like 60,000-ish and you got a tournament, in my eyes, tournament ready with just single units. Still, I, you know, that's probably a pretty good price, but for an entry level guy, I think it's the right boat. I think it's the right boat for an entry level guy. So it's probably undervalued for that person that's just coming in. For me personally, it's overvalued, it's overpriced just because I, I want two dual units. I want to be able to have the option to click, drag, dual units, click, drag, dual units. And I know I can do that here at shop for sure. I can do all them dual units, but we're taking this basically off of what their website allows us to do. So that's what, that's why we're at where we're at. And that's why I'm disappointed in what I got here. So if you take our normal deal and you add 15 grand to what we're doing, kind of, kind of, sort of, yeah, we're still in that 50, 60, 60. Yeah, you're still right there. It's still a good price. It's still good value. 
Um, but so I think for the entry level, it's gonna come in undervalued. For Andy, it's overpriced because I just don't like it. I don't like the boat. I don't like the options. I don't like what they allow us to do. Um, I'm not saying law makes a bad boat, but for some reason, if you're not allowing us to put 200s on, jack plates on, stuff like that, you're scared of something, something's going on. Um, if you know some of these answers, if you understand why they're not allowing us to do some of this stuff, <whistles> comment down here, let us know what's going on. Say, hey, you know, I, I talked to a dealer, I talked to law itself, and they said they're just worried about the breaking, the, the, how it's built or whatever. And, and that's cool, if that's what they're doing, is protecting their warranty, that's understandable. I mean, you gotta understand that, but, um, you got to disclose why why can't i do that why can't i hang a 200. i mean the vexus had a 200 on it did it not i think the vexus had a 200 on it um i just had a vexus in here that got rear-ended by a vehicle uh they're not a crack in the boat just so you guys know not a crack in the boat so built pretty well uh, but but at the end of the day on this deal forty-six thousand bucks for me it's overpriced just because i don't like the boat but for an entry-level person just coming in I would definitely check them out. I'd definitely go check them out. If you're not an experienced guy, you're not driven all the boats in the industry, you've not seen what's going on, I think it'd be the right boat to start with. Um, it's obviously gonna come with warranties. So um, at the end of the day, for the entry level guy, just going to want to buy a nice boat, I think you should just go look at this uh, Laos Stinger 198, get yourself into it for under under 50 grand, the way we do it. If you wanna just go pick it up off the showroom with uh, hook three you can't see and a 70 that ain't gonna go against the current, you're still gonna get it into it for under 40 grand. So I think that's a good price, but I'm gonna be pissed off because I'm gonna have it on Jackrabbit and I'm still not going upstream, I'm going backwards and that ain't gonna make me happy. And then I can't see my damn Lowrance 3X hook thing that, why do you even do that people? Don't even make it a damn option. Get rid of the hook, throw the hook. Get rid of the hook three. You don't need a hook three. Game Boy for Christ's sakes. What the hell? Why do you, why do you do that? Don't do that. Piss me off. See, I'm mad again. Just trying to have a good day and I can't ever have a good day. But here we go, it's finished, it's done. We did the Laos Stinger 198. It is, in my eyes, over overpriced. At entry level, dude, I think it's the right boat for you. I think you should go check it out. Um, Laos Stinger 198, under 50K. Go check it out, I would. For you avid people, avid boat people that really wanna know what's going on with avid boats, you want me to do the avid boat? I was so excited because I thought we were doing avid boats today because we've been trying to get a hold of them for three months. No one wants to call me back. I can't get a hold of anybody. I get the same damn secretary. I can't get a hold of the owner. He's always in a meeting. He's always talking to this guy. Maybe he's golfing. I don't know. Philip, I can't get a hold of you. You won't call me back. So for you avid people, if you're watching, why don't you give that place a call and say, hey, call that guy back, please, because I want to do a review on your boat. But I can't do a review if you don't talk to me. I mean, I can take it off the website, but three months here, four months, dude, come on. Avid guys, call Avid because they won't get back to me. But then I'll get you an Avid review. I think yes, last week I had like six or eight or 10 people. What about Avid? What about Avid? What about Avid? What about Avid? I don't know. They won't call me back. Philip doesn't want to call me back. Philip hates me. I don't know why he hates me, but he doesn't want to call me back. Rick Pierce called me back. He us. Oh yeah, he did email us like six months ago. Hey. Yeah, hey. Yeah, we want to get a hold of you. I got an email. Hey, let's, yeah, I want to get a hold of you. So we started calling him. We can't get a hold of him because he's in a meeting. All we need is 30 minutes, maybe 20 minutes of your time, not three days. Just call us back. Call us back. We respond to your email. Call us back. All right, just give me a call. It's a phone call. We're done. That's it. We're over. As always, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell. Witness the madness that I call speed, money, no breaks. Peace. I'm out.